Hey guys, welcome back to our music Discord Reserve tutorial. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make uh we're gonna finish up all of the events that is possible. So we're gonna finish up the events and we'll do commands in the third or fourth video. So we're gonna continue doing some boring stuff in today's video. So yeah, uh, bear with me. Alright, so this is the dogs. Um there is a few events that we're gonna cover in today's video. So um I'll link this in the description if you wanna join. I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna see the docs and follow along, and then yeah, um, just go to index.js and then everything you just need to add a dot on. All right, it's kind of laggy right now. Let me just zoom in. Okay, perfect. So dot on, we're gonna use the play, uh, the add list. So basically. This event is triggered when someone adds a um a whole playlist. So this will be triggered, and then um it's gonna pass us the queue message queue um and then uh playlist. Okay, and then we can do. We can just copy this thing actually. Um, message on channel to send. Add a song. We can just copy this and just send it over here. Okay, so add list and then it's just gonna say added song names, format, and duration, blah 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 blah. Okay, so uh, next we're gonna cover empty. So basically, this event is triggered when there is no more songs. All of these songs have played. So um. One more thing, if you want your bot not to leave the um, voice channel after all the songs are played, just do something like this, comma, okay, leave on empty, oops, leave on empty, you just make it false if you don't want it to leave, alright? So um, on default, it's going to make it true, so if you don't want it to leave, um, just make it false. So. Uh, I'm just gonna make it live so I'm, I can just ignore that and then uh, we're gonna do empty and then uh, we're gonna do the same thing where is it you can just copy basically what they ask uh, cuz I'm okay we can just do this okay next we're gonna move on to error if there's an error so we can just do error uh, it's taking message error, and then we can just do message dot channel send, and then uh we can do an error occurred plus an error in here. Next, we're gonna call it finish. So um, let me see what's the difference. Hmm. This is basic. I think finish no more song in the queue. Queue the place false. This you will leave the voice channel if leave on finish is true. So this is leave on finish. So if you don't want it to leave on finish, same thing. You just go to your client, you add an object, and then leave on finish. You just set it to false. If you don't want it to leave on finish, it's not a uh, it's not a dot. It's a comma. Okay. So uh, I'm just gonna leave it as it is right now. Um, on leave, I mean, finish, and then we're just gonna copy the same example. Let me just copy it like that, it's way easier. All right, and then next, uh, we're gonna do dot on dot on init queue. I don't think this is necessary, so let me just um come in here so you can see a no related. Q song is empty and just you can't find any related songs to play. So basically when your queue is empty and you're trying to find a song which doesn't exist, so it's just gonna send this. Alright, so you can just copy the same thing. Um actually you can just do it like that, it's way faster I think. Yeah, we can do it like that. Okay. Let me just copy and paste it in here. Okay, next uh we're gonna move on to playlist. I meant that after this tweet plays the first song of the playlist. And adds the rest to the good queue. 
Okay, so uh, same thing. We can actually just copy this. If you can customize your uh, message, obviously, but I'm just gonna use the default one. Uh, oops. You just copy copy from the dot on function. Okay, playlist. Next will be play song. I think we already did play song. Yeah, we already did play song, so you can skip this. Search channel. So uh, search songs is true. So to turn on this, if you're not using, um, let me just show you. So if you go to your player again, and you didn't do this, you never do um, search songs true. You can just ignore that event. All right. So basically search song true, it basically sends an embed of options for you to choose from. I don't really like it. I like the first option straight away. So I'm not going to use it, but I'll just add the event just for um, the sake of tutorial uh, let me just add that real quick okay make sure there's no semicolons semicolons um search result and when this is true oh okay and then the same thing search result we can just copy this last event okay so today's video it will conclude today's video on the um, events so we're just going to set up all of the events so we can just uh, focus on the commands on the next video so yeah uh, make sure to finish up all of the events it's pretty simple um you can obviously you can customize all of the messages you see you get the q property if i do q dot you'll see a lot of uh, properties all right you can use all of these um yeah all right so if you want to see the part three of this music series make sure to leave a comment down in the comment section stating that you want to see the third video i guess so yeah other than that have a nice day see you again in the next video bye